What is it, everyone? It is Bowser0897 with another episode of Rant Time. And in today's episode for this week, we'll be discussing AMC's The Walking Dead. Now, <laughs> we also have a uh, guest speaker t- with here to us today. His name is Sal. Say hi, Sal. Hello. He has been an avid watcher of The Walking Dead, just like us two. Nick's here as well. Hey, what's and, going on? Yeah, so um, so this show, Walking Dead, it's um, it's not, it's it's doing uh, it's not doing so hot. Wouldn't you say, Nick? It's not doing. Yeah, so it's hot. it's gone down to the decline. I will say. I want to kind of start off with where we all started with because this show was one of the best shows on TV rating wise, I believe. So I'll I will start first. So originally, I did not watch Walking Dead with the first premiere. I'm gonna. Obviously, say that out. I didn't start watching the show. It came out 2009 or 10, I believe. Was 2010. It yeah, 2010. I remember I was in high school at the time, and my friend was like, hey, man, you should check out the show. It's called The Walking Dead. You like zombies? You like apocalypse scenarios? Like, yeah. I was like, yeah, check it out. I was like, okay, I'll check out The Walking Dead. And, you know, I started watching, and I got hooked. I believe this was around season two-ish. When that was coming to an end, season three was launching on Netflix around that. So I came in around season two, season three during this life cycle. It was a good time. It was a good time. And just a lot of fun, fun memories. Like Walking Dead, I believe it was in its prime at, at that time. Like it was just so nice because my dad actually was watching it before me. And and what we're going to get into that, why he stopped watching prior because the show eventually started declining to a lot of people but you know i stuck through as much as i could but um sal for would you like to tell the people when did you start watching the walking dead i believe if i'm correct i kind of pushed you into watching that show am i correct um well actually when i first found out about the walking dead um i found out with my dad we Mm. watched a couple episodes and he didn't enjoy it that much but you did yeah, to a, to an extent. I didn't know anything about the story, you know, the plot wise, but I just thought the idea of zombies and whatnot in the first season particularly was pretty nice. It, yeah, it, one with I gotta say, the show yeah. was yeah, the show, show was, was nice. really scary. It was interesting. It was I mean, something a lot of. It was something that we didn't see on modern television at the time, and it was interesting to see how they played an apocalyptic scenario in uh, Georgia, I believe, where the show was primarily set back in That's the day. That's where it started off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now they're God knows where where they're at now. <laughs> but um, <laughs> Nick, when did you start watching? I believe you were the one of the OGs. You're you're an OG. Yeah, I, if I remember, I was the one. I was one of the people they introduced. You do it. Yeah, yeah. And I got introduced to it from my dad, of course, just like Sal. Oh, and oh, it oh, was... My father's like the show, basically. Yeah. <laughs> it was the beginning of season two, and my dad showed me a little bit of the first episode for that season. And I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. It's, it's not bad. And then I got way into it. Um when the second half of season two came around. So it was uh, spring of 2012 that I really got into yeah, it. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. Yeah, it's that was when Walking Dead was in its prime. And a lot of yes. my favorite characters, like, dude, there were some characters on that show that really made that show just sparkle. Rick Grimes was my favorite. Yeah, by Rick, far. Rick Grimes, the governor, Herschel, Dale, Shane. Like, these are some really, really well written characters and actors in the uh, show and they're just so wonderful to watch glenn you know glenn's good daryl and merle yeah, daryl daryl merle like yeah merle oh my god man it's like <laughs> and the so sad, many and the sad thing is it's like they're all what like half of them are all of them are gone is every single character we just said dead in the show no no Prime, i think no, there's a fair amount. There's a fair amount that are gone, but I don't want to go and I don't want us to go into full detail for those that may watch this and are behind. It's been a while since I've watched Walking Dead. I think the yeah, last for that I've reason, gone. that for that reason alone, exactly, it's been a while since I've watched The Walking Dead too. I just couldn't keep on, but we'll save that. So, I personally was really, really getting hooked on The Walking Dead was during the end of season three. 
prolonging to season six and seven. When personally, I am a guy who loves antagonists. I believe every good story is a good villain, and the governor and Negan are, are some of the best characters I have liked in this show. So like, when the governor came around, it was he has so much charisma, so much influence, so much power that really drove the show. Like, you know. It was different because, like, instead of zombies they were fighting after, they actually had to deal with the governor, his town, and his army. And, you know, eventually they took them all in. And, you know, the governor obviously died. And, everyone, and like, remember that finale. Like, that finale was so big. Like, I remember seeing that finale on TV. The governor getting stabbed by Michelle. Like, everyone was talking about it. You know, everyone was talking about Herschel's death. Everyone was cheering that Michonne killed the, killed the governor and like it was like it was so good but we don't get that anymore you know what I'm saying? I cried when he killed Herschel man like we I'm don't just get that anymore sick. like and then Negan came around and like oh my god Jeffrey Dean Morgan is such a good character for that role <clears throat> like the reaction around the around the globe when Negan bashed in Abraham and Glenn and like throughout season 7 Almost, it's like that's. I would consider season seven almost the Negan season. Like th they just showed his character so well, like how much of an ass he is, and it's like it was so great. And I just I loved it. I had a really good time during season seven and six of The Walking Dead. Like it was some of the best moments, some of the best memes that were being made. It was it was amazing, and that's honestly where after season seven per se, when season eight came around. I personally feel like that is when it started declining for me, and it's when I kind of stopped watching when Negan started disappearing, and the characters were just back to just, you know, back to their normal selves. There was just, I don't know, it's just, what nothing was pulling me in anymore after Negan got his throat slashed, and now he's like, what, held captive now? It's, just, it's ridiculous. Like, honestly, it would have been a lot better if they killed him. I'm gonna, I feel like it would have been better if they killed Negan off because it would just gave more life to that show, you know. A villain being actually murdered and... But no, we didn't get that. But that's personally where I believe the show went declined for myself. Um, so, what about you? Throughout The Walking Dead, when you were watching it, when do you feel like you personally couldn't keep watching it anymore? Like, when do you think it started declining for you? Um... I'd say, I'd say it started declining after the governor died. Like yeah, the transition between the governor and Negan. A lot of people, uh, yeah, a lot of people say that um, the Walking Dead started declining after the governor because they were more focused on people rather than the actual apocalypse and learning about it and surviving it. But also on the flip side, a lot of people didn't like it how they were just fighting zombies. Like, I don't know if you remember, but you remember season, was it season, like, like half of season four, season five, and season six. Wasn't it just all just zombie issues? Yeah, and I yeah, mean, yeah, that's like, pretty much, <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that's all it was. <laughs> But through, but through my eyes, that's the whole point of the yeah, show. Yeah. They call it The Walking Dead because yeah, yeah. of the zombies and walkers. That's the point of it. And, yeah, and a lot of people, and the thing is, a lot of people were hooked on the drama and the conflict the show was getting with the governor stuff. A lot of people couldn't keep watching. It was like, oh my god, this is so boring. I think, I think um, the show really, like, see, the idea of the show is based, you know, of course on zombies, but like, how humans act with relation to zombies, you mm -hmm. know? Like, it's like another problem onto it. You get what I'm trying to say? So, I like, do. I think, like, them just focusing on zombies is, is, is good, you know, as should, the show should, the show should be like that, but I think it's just that, like, it's missing that little oomph, that little flavoring on the top, you know? Where it's, like, it needs a good balance. Yeah, it needs a good balance. Yeah. That, and, yeah, even my dad felt victim to that he said it's like it's like they're nothing well, my dad said that yeah like throughout the show it's like nobody's doing anything else but just surviving like it's all just they're surviving like every episode and it's the same thing you know there's like there's nothing new to the walkers you know like 
They, like you know, it's and just... that's why. And we see the episode. We see these episodes pushing towards more drama and conflict. Have you noticed that, Nick? Because it's what sells. It what gets people attention. The drama, the action, the uh, violence with other people. Now, mm-hmm. the thing is. That type of walker survival, horror type of survival, it worked really, really well in the beginning. Like, I don't know what they did, but it's just like, I think the way they were able to capture the feeling of being alone, Rick Grimes by himself trying to look for his family, just... Yeah, I think that's where it's really got hooked, when it was just like... It it seems so hopeless. It seems so hopeless. I agree. Yeah, and then now it's like... Everyone's like, I want to say overpowered, but like, it's like, you know, like. I say that same hopelessness came with Negan came around. Like, I honestly, after Negan appeared, I thought like that, like the, the show took a great turn, in my opinion. It I did. thought like, like I was thought it was probably gonna end. Yeah, I <laughs> yeah, I end. thought like, I thought they were gonna end with Negan or something like that. Yeah, dude, Negan's killing off half the people there. Like, I remember. Rick Grimes was almost like his bitch for like a few episodes. Like he just gave up. It's like, no nah, man, I can't do this anymore. Nick is your leader now. <laughs> but I think it's like I a think, whole season. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of him just fetching stuff for him, <laughs> and then like, and everyone wasn't getting behind the fact that um, Negan was leading. But like, Rick Grimes was broken. Like he almost, if I'm correct. He didn't lose Carl at the time, but like he losing, he was about to. yeah, losing Glenn and Abraham, it's like that beat him inside because like you know he knew Glenn since the beginning. It sucks, man. It, it sucks. I just, I really want. I don't want the show to die, man. But like Nick, we didn't even get to ask you. What do you think the show started declining from your eyes? I would say about the same time you did, like around season eight or yeah. maybe even yeah. during season nine when specific events happened, which we're not going to go into because of spoilers. Yeah. Dude, I was, yeah, All Out, All Out War was hyped. I was really looking forward to um, them, you know, rising up to take on Negan. But, like, I don't know if you remember, but you remember how there was a season of them rising up saying they're going to take on Negan, finish him off in, like, mm-hmm. season seven, half of season seven? And they don't, and then they, <laughs> and then like they don't do it until like the end of season eight almost. Like it's like, bro, it's so long, it's it's just ridiculous. But um, oh my god, but as of now, so Carl is gone. Obviously, everyone. Did he die? That. Yes, Carl is dead, man. I did not know that. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. That's how far back you are. I forgot oh, yeah, about dude, this guy's no, far back. A couple of seasons, back. dude. This guy's far back. Oh, oh, shit. Shit. I'm up to the part. Where I... Shit, this guy's far back. <laughs> shit, I'm sorry. What? Wait. <laughs> what what I'm up to the part where um, Daryl is still at Negan's like. Bro, you're that far back. Yeah, dude. Not that far back. Dude, Did a lot no... happen. Dude, a whole bunch of shit has happened. Is, yeah, dude. What happened? Dude, Carl's dead. Um, did Rick lose his? No, no, that's way back, way back. Uh, Rick didn't lose much. No, okay, I was thinking that's way, way back. But um, I'm thinking... I, I mean, I hated Carl, so. Well then, you, you know, but Carl. That, got but here's sh- the thing. Here's the thing. Yeah? Here's the thing, though. We can talk about this. So, when Carl died, Sal. So... Everyone was really upset about it. Even those that really didn't like him, mm-hmm. they became How like super die? sad and full of sympathy when he did. Because so, like he was saving the life of like this this homeless dude, right? If yeah. I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he was. And then he got bit, but he told no one, and he just wanted to like save everyone's life when it came to all full out war. And then so people were like, he told his dad Rick that. He was bit, and then everyone else was finding out. So he was risking his life with without any hesitation because he knew he was gonna die. That's why he stood up to Negan in one of those future episodes. That's and and that's How why people were the Well, they they were fighting off like his people, but it, it was the yeah, mid season right. finale for season eight. But they never fought him off. They they just fought him off, but they didn't defeat them all the way. It the sad thing is is like. Yeah, I remember when Rick Grimes had to even shoot Negan too. That was 
<laughs> Man, that was that was fucking. I mean, not Negan. No, Carl. They had to shoot Carl. That was. I don't do Rick. I think Rick was like messed up for like a few episodes after that. Like he had to literally no. Was it was it Michonne or or no? Did he do it himself? I forgot. Did he shoot himself or did Michonne shoot him or? If I'm Nick, do you remember? Are you saying Nick shot himself? No, no, Carl, Carl, Carl. My bad, Carl. Carl. Um, I think Carl shot himself. Yeah, he asked to shoot himself. Maybe I don't remember. I think so. If I'm not mistaken, I don't remember, but I think so. Yeah, that was dude, that was that was fucking crazy. But um, so as as you um obviously. I, uh, Nick said that we shouldn't spoil it, so I'm not going to spoil it, but things has happened in Season 9 that are really pushing the limits of the show's continuation. Like, Nick, I want to ask you first. Do you think this show is going to get a Season 10, an 11, and a 12 like they want? Like, I, I don't know, man. I just don't think it could just go on that long. Like, it needs to end. Like, it's... it's, it's the quality is going down in my eyes and like I personally feel like they should just just end it strong honestly like some closure personally but then again a, a part of me I really don't want to see the show end though like you know I've been watching the show for years and I really don't want to see it just end but personally I want to ask you what do you think the show was going to like you know disperse where, where do you think it's headed in the future. Uh, I feel like maybe they just have one more season. Maybe two. I don't know. But two at the most and then nothing more after that. Well, you know they brought in that uh, new race that um Yeah, they brought in they brought in a new like section of it. Like mm -hmm. fast forward. Yeah. I'm not gonna say how long, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> it's just like I don't know. Like I don't know how you can go farther with this. Hey, yeah, like you can't. It's more conflict. It's just more. Attack. Yeah, it's just more antagonist com combat. Maybe That's all they should. They should, you know, actually, com like introduce an antagonist, or like explain why the zombies or like why walkers came to be. Yeah, like, yeah, like that part in season one with was it Doctor? What was his name? Doctor. Dr. I don't remember his name. That was so far back. Dude, but doctor, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, the guy at the CDC, Doctor. Uh, fuck, I can't remember his name. <laughs> but um, it was yeah, that, were, that part was they really were doing interesting. stuff to try to figure out what yeah, happened. Man, that part was really let them interesting. Figure out how it worked. I, I really wish they could have dived into that more. Like, ugh, just it's it's upsetting. But you know, we're approaching the 18 minute mark, and uh, we probably said our fair share of things. Nick, is there anything else you wanted to add? No, I think I think we hit all the hard points. I think, uh, Sal, do you have any parts? I feel like you have more to say. I, I just have that weird feeling. Who, me? Yeah, yeah Sal, I have more to say. I honestly, have that it's interesting because I mean, he's more. been the I most mean, late. I, yeah, he hasn't seen partly anything. Yeah. He stopped watching before all of us. Like, what, what kept you from watching, so? That's what I'm curious. Um, I mean, I didn't have a Netflix account at the time, and I don't have cable, so. <laughs> fair uh, enough. Well, fair enough. It'll work. <laughs> yeah. I don't, shit, I don't blame him either. Cable's expensive as hell. Well, um, if no one else has anything else to say, I guess next week we should uh, touch on Star Wars. Yes, yes. As the uh, sequels... I believe the last episode in the new sequels are coming. Is it uh, this year or next year? Episode 9 will year. be coming out December of 2019. Okay, yep. yep. So um, we're going to be talking about the prequels, the original trilogy, <sighs> and the sequels. We yep. are going to discuss why the prequels are hated so much, <laughs> the love for the original trilogy, and the hate that the sequels get. But until then, I am Bowser0897, and I'll see you guys in the next one.